it would appear the comedy gods have chosen to bless us with yet another mock-worthy soundbite from David Hogg, see David Hogg concerned about constitutional rights being violated and dear David Hogg, you're a lying, opportunistic, insufferable little toe rag. This time, little David claims he is crusading for helpless black people, who need their gats confiscated to save them from themselves. Now, I could go into all the ways Hogg's remarks are the verbal equivalent of explosive diarrhea, but I'll defer to Colian Noir instead who the hell gave David Hogg the authority to put on his white man's burden costume to save me from myself by marching to restrict my right to own a gun that at one point I wasn't considered human enough to own? This is the shit we're co-signing? If I were Hogg, I'd be I'm saging mommy to bring a fire extinguisher and some aloe right about now. You have to give it to young David, though. He's taking to the dark ways of leftism like a heroin addict to their mom's silverware drawer. Few leftist Padawans graduate from anti boomstick crusader to the savior of black people in just a few short weeks. Before we know it, he'll be reaching you didn't build that status and telling us we're evil for having so many deodorant options. Kids, they grow up so fast. Sarcasm aside, David Hogg was in deep need of a history lesson. As if bragging about skipping school wasn't indication enough. When you're busy number resisting the NRA, your basic knowledge of how things work tends to suffer. Luckily, Colian Noir was kind enough to offer Hoggy a crash course to catch him back up. Contrary to leftists' beliefs, African American people of color don't need a bunch of dushatastic 80 pound chinless imps to speak for them. People like Colian Noir are plenty capable of forming their own opinions. Check your privilege, Hogster.